Mm. Welcome to the Fat and Unfiltered Podcast. We fill your bellies up and leave you with some juice. Welcome, Welcome back, back, baby loves. loves. Welcome back. If you are new to our channel, please do not like. It's okay. Please it's okay. do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with all your friends. And make sure you hit that bell notification. That way you are updated when we update you. And if you are returning, welcome back. I am Deshaun Talk Today. And I'm Savia, Miss Kitty. And we in this thing, y'all. Miss Kitty Barely. not feeling that. Young. Barely. So we're going to do this one. And we're going to probably be here to eat. I'm going to knock it out. But what do we have going on, Miss Kitty? We have... Wendy's, we got some spicy and some regular nuggets, honey. And you know what? I could not come to Wendy's without getting a tropical berry lemonade, honey. You hear me? And this is the best, like crap. It looks good. It really does. And she told me to get a lemonade because honestly, y'all, I've never had anything from Wendy's other than a baconator. So this is the first time I've even tried nuggets. I want it spicy. But the way it's set up in here is busy and she didn't get it right. I'm not reordering. So I'm going to yeah. be tasting one of hers. We ain't got time. I ain't never seen a Wendy's this damn busy. I didn't even know Wendy's still like had Like they're selling crack in here. Well, you did just say your lemonade. Like oh, right. okay. Look, she la she laughing at me. You fine. <laughs> you fine, girl. Yeah, she did just say that. So, yeah, Well, I guess I did. Mm -hmm. Crack lemonade. Yeah, All so right. we're going to jump on into this. Yeah. So we can eat. By your hands, baby loves. Oh, I just knew she was just going to uh -uh. jump right uh -uh. on into it. All right, want to buy your heads. Want to thank you, God, for allowing us to make it here. It's safe and sound. Bless the hands that prepared this food that will be nourishing to our bodies. Please, God, watch over Savion so she can get 100% well in a speedy, speedy time. We want to bless our subscribers, all our baby loves. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Traveling grace to get home, God. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna run y'all right now. I may not eat a lot because hmm, not feeling well. I don't know what's gonna stay down. Mm. And that's so crazy. I was like thinking, like, boy, everybody being sick, getting sick. It's cold. It's ASL. And. And then y'all going to work, see, going to work with the flu, contaminating everybody. See, she gonna make me get mad. Mm -hmm. She gonna make me get mad on this video. I don't know how to get mad on. <laughs> Just at work, contaminating everybody, baby. And I'm a little glad. I guess my side. Oh, I'm about to be rude, uh, y'all. I can at least. And I did. I can at least get my baby loves a mm -hmm. bite. Mm -hmm. Here go, y'all. Some sweet and sour sound. Cause I sure was just eating. You always nuggets are good. Oh, good nuggets will be good. First time I done tasted something that actually tastes like some damn chicken. Cause them nuggets, girl, over at um Burger King. You don't like Burger King? I don't know what happened. Maybe the person that's what my greedy butt gets. Somebody gave me some in. We need to have a nugget like, off. We should because it kind of tastes so like cardboard. To me. Because. I don't know if these are number one, but I kind of love Burger King nuggets too. I mean, mm -hmm. and maybe I'm telling a story. Maybe it wasn't Burger King. Maybe it was McDonald's. Yeah. Maybe it was McDonald's. McDonald's kind of. I, I used time. to love them, but mm -hmm. now. It don't taste like anything. Mm -hmm. Look at that goodness right there. <laughs> Baby, this is just, this is, this came from God. I'm telling you, this is from God's fountain. But then that's why they still got Christmas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and mine's just leaking over. Yeah. This is probably the most excited I've been all day to be talking yeah, to y'all. All day. This is, like, I truly love doing this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she ain't lying. I literally been like, I just keep it together. Let her get well. I'm going to be strapped. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely trying. Definitely trying. This flu out here is getting everybody. So y'all, stay medicated. Stay mm -hmm. well. For real. Get you some vitamin C in your body. Keep it in your body. Get you some rest. Because this ain't the time to be working off of no three and four hours of sleep. It's not. Mm -hmm. It's not. I'm going mm -hmm. to be off for the next two days. I'm about to be asleep. Sleep, sleep. So, baby loves, how y'all doing today? 
we real. just rambling on. We ain't even ask y'all how y'all doing. For real. Pray that y'all are all doing good. Y'all let us know how the weather looking where you at. Have y'all got back to sunny skies and 75 degrees? Or are you just not getting a winter like us? Is Ooh. this winter? I'm just saying, this has been the coldest it's been, and we about to be in spring. Well, that's time change. Spring. Yeah, time change on the 8th of March, and then spring starts, like, the middle of March. I feel yeah. like Texas weather, I remember a couple years ago, when I was working in, um, well, shit, not a couple years ago, almost seven, eight years ago, I was working in Dallas, and it was 98 degrees on Christmas. Mm-hmm. Like, what? Around. Right. Texas. Mm -hmm. We don't know if we need coats or jackets. If we need jackets or shorts. Okay. And then one day you might go in with a coat and come out and you don't even need it. Now that is true. I'm sick of it. <laughs> I'm ready to try this uh, spicy nugget. Can I have no. one? Go on, sis. Because they didn't she, come with mine. She got the regular devil. I honestly ordered spicy. Mm hmm. <laughs> They spicy mm, though. They are. Um, Sister will probably be taking this home with her. This is, yeah, that's a little spicy. I'm kind of maybe. It is. That's why I don't really know why I got spicy. Worked out for me. Yeah, they oh, they are out. spicy. Yeah, they they are. are, and they're really good. I wouldn't have wanted to eat the whole 10 pizza. Really? Well, why are you doing? Why she always know somebody every time we out? Because of photography. He's just a girl. He ain't like you. <laughs> mm -hmm. he'll, he'll find this video and then he'll figure out he walked in here on us and he'll know what I'm talking about. He, he follows us. He do? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, hey, Mr. Truck Driver Man, whenever you see this video. <laughs> Look, mm -hmm. and don't jump in her inbox either because I done already told her you ain't about it. He really ain't this. I be saying hey, to you. Hey, I'm we on one accord. Mm -hmm. I don't want nothing but what God has for me. Point blank and the period. And it don't matter if it's wrapped up in a good looking bow. Huh? <laughs> I said, and it don't matter if it's wrapped up in a good looking bow, because that'd oh. be the devil. You want with God, oh, but sometimes yeah. we can get blinded by the shiny bow. Baby, that's a whole word for today. Mm -hmm. Don't get blinded by the bow. You don't. Mm-mm. -hmm. Because everything that glitters hmm. ain't gold. Ain't gold. A lot of wolves and sheep clothing, I tell you. We were just talking about that the other day. Like, people don't even really understand. There's so many people who got wolves around them and they don't even know it. People who smiling in their face and they really wishing death on them or bad things on them behind their back. You really have to watch who you allow in your circle and who you share your happy and your joyous moments with. That's true. That's true. That's why I find myself a lot lately. Like I keep I keep my things to my myself. Cause I don't want I don't want people's bad bad thoughts, juju mm -hmm. tainting what I got going on. Mm -hmm. Even though you can't do nothing that God don't allow you to do anyway. Yeah. That's true. But it don't hurt to keep it, keep something to yourself. That's sacred. A lot of people be with me, be like, I didn't know you did this or you did. I'm so proud of it. Like, you have to really be close to me to even. But it makes sense. Because people will secretly be praying for your demise, and it's like, why is that? Protect your peace. Mm -hmm. and That's gonna um, be the title of today's show. Protect your peace, baby. <laughs> you yeah, know it. <laughs> y'all I wish I was well I wish was. because this food would be so good these fries is fresh and cooked to perfection how I like them they look so fresh and they are crispy Okay. Now, and I had something to ask. It wasn't nothing real serious. What you it got, sis? Like, somebody actually like sent me a message. It was like, y'all talk about relationships a lot. And I said we don't be trying to. I think it's just 
just what happened. We're just two women, you know, we think in this world, we go through relationship. And they said, what do you think of some nowadays, because they was like, you really have to vet these people, men and women. On the first day, what do you think are some important questions to ask? Like, do you think it should go that deep on the first date, or should you just go and get all of that out? So therefore, if it's a red flag or something that you're not down for, you don't waste your time. You, the first day you need to definitely fill out mm -hmm. what that person is looking for. Now gotcha. that I have learned because yeah. I am the female who never asked the right questions really? on the first day. Open my eyes a little bit like I am a female who goes off like vibes and feelings. So if I get that vibe and that feeling, that connection with you, sometimes my questions, they, they don't, I bypass those. So yeah, definitely. There are certain questions that you need to ask to make sure that you and this person are on the same level. Like y'all are going in wanting the same thing. Like I want a relationship, I want a relationship too. Not I want to hump on you. You sitting there thinking like this is about to be my man. He about to take me and show me off to everybody. And yeah. No. Yeah. Financial is important. Mm -hmm. uh, who but see, I'm annoying as I'm trying not to cuss, but I'm annoying because I ask everything like. I'm almost what they would say a deal breaker is like in dating, like if you watch matchmaking shows and they'd be like, that's why you're single. Though. That's why. Da, 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 da. No, I'm getting everything that I want to get out. And if you can't pass that part, then hey, hey, thanks for dinner. You know, and I think that's good. But you were definitely right. Finances, finances can definitely be fine. Mm -hmm. At the very least. You need to make sure y'all are on the same page mm -hmm. as far as like what y'all want in life. That is mm -hmm. important. Yeah. Because if you guys are not on the same accord, what's the point of even starting? Mm -hmm. It makes no sense. You got somebody that's at one point in life and you in here. Well, are you trying to meet me here? Well, what are we about to do? Because I feel like at a certain point, like I don't, I don't want to put an age to it, but. You just gotta start getting a little bit more serious about how you handle about how you handle your dating your dating life because it is you ain't playing no more. But I feel like I'm at the I ain't playing no more. Yeah. And I if you're not married. playing no more and yeah. shoot, and if that's what you striving yeah. for, you definitely gotta take a different approach. Cause I have thought to myself too. Now you have to ask people, are you really single, single? Like, and when I say single, single, meaning like, is somebody going to be upset if they find out that you're out on a date with me? Because some people be in a relationship with their Girl, in. is your baby mama crazy? Is she going to cut my tires if she see us together? Exactly. Is she, she not going to put you on child support because you want to move on? Like, it's stuff like, and I don't want to have no part to that. And she not gonna let you see your kids Cause I want cause you, you to me. see your kids Cause I want you to yeah. see your kids Do you hear me? I want you to flourish and be happy <laughs> And see your kids Like that's crazy that that stuff gotta be added But that is, She made a great point Because you mm -hmm. literally do have to make sure That people are single, single. Like you not living with your baby mama Trying to say that y'all just roommates Type it like so, and not even. I don't want to get too much on that, yeah. mama. Cause we ain't even yeah. about, but you know, but serious, like that. Nobody out here in the world yes. is feeling a way. Like I tell my homegirl, girl, I had fun with. I'm just throwing a name out there. I had fun, girl, when I don't date with Eric. Now you find yourself telling, like, oh, my friend went out on a date with Eric. Now you got. Throwing out a name, Cerise over here like, wait, what you mean, Eric? Because Eric, me and Eric, huh. huh? Been living together for two years. Girl, don't even have to, don't, don't just think they in hell mad. No, we don't worry about them hoes. Yeah, them hoes we ain't worried about. You worried about the ones that's actually attached to y'all, who you living with, and who you spending money on, and you spending time with, and that's why they be upset when they see you with somebody else. Um, uh -uh, no part. Look, you know my shit is good. I'm, I'm Go done. Go ahead, sis. Those Go are the kind I have to take to the house. Y'all want some? So spicy. Here, take some home with y'all. Yeah, they so spicy. <laughs> I don't have to take them home. Oh, they might be my lunch tomorrow. But that, that was a good question. Mm -hmm. What questions do you guys ask on first dates? What mm -hmm. do y'all like? And I want men to answer too because I feel like men don't really ask hard hitting questions. My bad, guys. Hard hitting questions on the first date. 
I'm trying to remember like a hard hitting, you know, Mashawn. Shout out to Mashawn, <laughs> Mr. Wowzers. I like that name. Mashawn? Because it's so close to Deshaun. And you know what's so funny? Like, he wants to name his first kid. That's my ex, my ex ex. He wants to name his first son Marvelous. I think that is so cute. Yeah. But you like. <laughs> what? And it was so cold. No, okay. I know Marvelous. He supports us faithfully, so I had to give him a little shout out. I don't know what's up, but he asked you some questions for something, some in depth questions? Yeah. Oh, hmm. But you were shouting him out, so like, oh, okay. Yeah, I probably, yeah, I can probably say that's the first one that probably asked me, like, he, he asked me real in depth questions. I don't feel like men really ask those type of questions when they're really interested, I think. You think? I, I I think like if they're interested, if they have to see, I done been out on a date now, and, and as much as I ask questions, if something went like it, I don't know, it could have been any little thing, and then I can find myself kind of cutting. Like I don't even care to ask you nothing because I'm not even interested no more. I feel like even just men in general with conversations, they don't ask the right questions. Mm. Unless they're of a certain caliber yeah, in life, at, mate, in yeah. life. Like I would think they, that. Yeah, they don't. Because I've been saying, I want them to quit asking me questions. Because I don't like being so transparent. And you know, I want volunteer information. But if you ask me, I feel like i got to tell you. Because then I turn into what I don't want you to be to me. Oh, my. Yeah. I, I, so, so I get asked too many questions. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, but do you get asked the right questions? Yeah, they be questions that we would ask. Like, I think I meet more men that are ready. Like, you know, that are ready to, like to be in a like, like, all I'm missing is the ingredient is the white. Well, then, hey, this is why you ain't sitting on my phone that Because I'm not trying to get married. And that'd be my, yeah, that'd be my. So, uh, even dating? I can date, but my thing is, if I know you truly, truly ready, like, you ready, I'm not going to, I'm not, I, if I'm not there, I'm not going to waste your time. Now, if you decide you still want to get to know me. So, you're me, not ready for a relationship at all? I can be ready for a relationship. I'm not ready for somebody telling me right now, like. Like, I'm ready to get married. To me, marriage seems like you're ready tomorrow. See, you just tell me I'm ready to get to know you, and I'm looking for a wife. Like, you're looking for a wife, that means you're looking to get to know whatever woman can, comes in your life. Because just because you're looking for a wife don't mean it's me, you know? But no, when men tell me that they, like, ready to get married, and I kid you not, they track records sometimes, but you done already been married once, twice, you know? Like, you just, the ideal of marriage. Have you ever met people? Uh, met a person that loves the ideal of marriage? Like you wonder why they've been divorced like a couple of times, and they probably not even forty five. No, because most of the people that I hear, like from white people to black people to Mexican, like if mar somehow married people, they like don't do it. Like that's what I hear I all the time. I have, ran yeah. I have rarely heard a married person yeah. say. Girl, do it. You get married. I, it's and always a cautionary that they put before and say, hey. <laughs> and I'm going to be honest, then, since I don't get married, I would never tell somebody not to get married. I feel like people that say, don't get married, they didn't marry right. For the like, right they, Yeah, like they didn't marry a person. See, you, you would take your time. You know what I'm saying? You would take your time in a different space. You will marry, you will be blessed because you always say who God sees for me. And I remember I always used to say, my ex-husband, I wanted him. He wasn't sent from God. Like, you get what I'm saying? Because it was too many signs that I know now. God wouldn't have been blessed. Like, I mean, God don't bless mess, first of all. Okay. And he wouldn't have sent all of that baggage over. But I used to say that all the time. He wasn't God sent. I wanted him. But you always say... You yeah. always leave with God. So yours will be different. So don't listen to them. Because I think the ideal of love is great. Oh. A great marriage is great. Just You know what's so crazy? I feel like, I, like I, I'm that person. Like, I haven't met anybody. Like, I love the idea of love. Mm -hmm. And I think I fell in love with it even more. Because, like, I truly believe, like, when you say, I want the, hus the husband mm -hmm. and everything, like, I, I can't wait for that. And that's awesome. Yeah. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> She tickles me because when she said, like, that's awesome for yeah. you, yeah. sis, as and I for want me. That. No, and I really <laughs> want that for you, girl. So, and it's going to happen. In the name of Jesus. <sighs>
Okay. We did it. We held on. I'm sorry I didn't eat that much, guys. I don't think they care. I think they're just glad that you're here. I, yeah, at least I'm here. Yeah, you're here, <laughs> and that's all that matters. I'm glad you're here and you made it through. So I enjoyed you guys. You gave me a little energy. Yeah, so guys, if y'all like this video, make sure y'all hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with all your friends. And make sure you hit that bell notification. That way you are updated when we update you. So I guess on that note, yeah, we out of this thing. Peace. Peace.